Mercurio is an imperial male that refers to himself as a wizard, powerful mage, and master of magic. You can find him at the Bee and Barb Tavern in the center of Riften. He is a hireling, and for the price of 500 gold, he joins you as a follower. Paying his fee also unlocks the ability to marry him. His default armor set is Adept Robes of Destruction, Basic Boots, and a Leveled Dagger. He is also willing to join the Blades, which is ironic because there's a known bug that causes Delphine to attack him on sight during the main quest. When he joins the Blades, his default gear switches to the Heavy Blades armor along with a Blade Sword and Shield. Mercurio caps out at level 40 with 425 health and 410 magicka. He has no skill in light armor, but only 20 skill in heavy armor, so he will use either to equal ineffectiveness. If you want to use him as a pack mule, despite his objection, you'll be better off giving him a light set such as Elven. Mercurio is not essential, which means you're able to wabajack him to fix his stats. See the link in the description for my guide on what this does. However, Mercurio has virtually no weapon skills, he has no skill in two-hand or archery, and only 20 skill in one hand and block. At low levels, his level lock magic school stats allow him to switch weapons at close range, but if you wabajack him to fix him, he gets 100 skill in destruction and restoration. When this happens, he will ignore any weapons you give him and only use spells at all times. Even when he's out of magicka, any weapons and shields you give him will be purely for show. For show! Here you can see I drain him completely using the Staff of Magnus to the point it begins draining his health. Still he stands there looking stuck on stupid. So if you want a pure mage by your side, this is a wise decision. And if you met him at extremely low levels, then you'll also want to wabajack him. But if you meet him at the mid-tier levels and you want to get some weapon damage out of him, this can make for a tough decision. Okay, got it. Mercurio is willing to steal and attack nearly anyone on command. His primary damage is destruction magic. His strongest spell is Chain Lightning, but he'll also swap to Lightning Bolt or Fire Bolt depending on his distance from the enemy and how many other hostile enemies are around. He also uses the alteration spell Stone Flesh before engaging, and he'll use Steadfast Ward when fighting against other casters. He does know fast healing and close wounds, but tends not to use them until he's at the point of falling over. Sometimes he'll prevent this from happening, but most of the time you'll see him hunched over and then he'll cast a heal spell as soon as he stands up. His mage AI is very defensive. Mercurio opts to keep his distance from the fight whenever possible. He likes to take cover when available, which often results in him getting stuck behind objects, refusing to cast spells, because he does not have line of sight to the enemy. In the three fights I took him on for this video, he was 3 for 3 and getting stuck on several occasions at some point during the battle. Another issue is his AI lets him get dangerously close to the edge of mountains. He was 2 for 2 at falling off of cliffs, being unable to climb back up to rejoin the fight. You will want to keep this in mind because enemy positioning is going to be a major factor when using him as a follower. Lucky. Lucky hit. Don't like the looks of this. At his max level, Mercurio's sneak skill is 73, which is fairly high for a mage. If you keep him in light armor and put muffle on his boots, he can make a decent partner for a stealth build. He also has low conjuration skills, so he will use summon staves to some effectiveness. Unlike pure one-hand followers, he doesn't switch to them immediately whenever they're available, but you will see him pull it out from time to time. His destruction damage output is decent for destruction. Chain lightning does 40 damage, while his two bolt spells both do 25. He uses both hands to cast, so you'll often see him firing off lightning in one hand and fire in the other, which dishes out significant damage at mid-levels. The problem with destruction in Skyrim is that spell damage output is capped. If you've seen my TS guide on increasing destruction damage, at higher levels you have to jump through hoops using potions and poisons. Against our usual ancient dragon, he took several minutes to finish the fight, compared to the few seconds that it takes a follower like Janasa or Cicero. His vast arsenal of tools at his disposal allowed him to finish the fight though through a combination of destruction for damage, summoning pets, using the ward to block spells, and healing himself with restoration. You can't say the same for someone like Durkethus. So my final opinion on Mercurio is that he would make an excellent follower from around level 25 and 30 up to about 50, 52 if you play on master difficulty. Above 50, enemy health increases to a point where his damage output capabilities just fail to impress. Even though followers do not suffer the half damage penalty that the player gets, destruction spells, especially adept or below, fall below par. I like his versatility, and if you want a mage that does reliable damage from a distance, he makes an excellent choice. 
Let me know in the comments who you'd like to see next. There have been several suggestions, but no particular follower has gotten more feedback than others, so the vote is still out. In the meantime, I will be recording for a weapon analysis guide this weekend, so look for that video coming next. I don't want to do another 17 minute long video, so I may break that one up by weapon type. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you for watching. I'm right behind you. You lead, I'll follow.